So what, what is to come? What should we expect? And how do we prepare for what's to come? Yeah, I think that's a great question. I mean, I, I feel like so many people still need to learn about Bitcoin. So that's sort of where I've, I've decided my mission is, is to bring the people that don't understand it and own none of it or, or are very skeptical still yeah. to really embrace it and, and feel a little bit more comfortable understanding how the technology network was built and why and why our financial system sort of broken. So I'm really passionate about that because I think that once people get on the Bitcoin standard and start to accumulate, then they can start to plan for a future where they can make investments or think about you know the kind of job that would make them feel really fulfilled and um, what kind of goods and services that they can provide. I just think it spurs, I think saving in general, being able to save for your future just spurs the ability to plan, to innovate, to become entrepreneurs, to take risk. And I just, I see that as like a world of a lot of potential and a lot of beauty and opportunity. So for me, I just, I think that in the future, there's going to be a lot more opportunity, especially economic opportunity, because we have a system now of hard money that goes up in value. I think that it will drive opportunity in different countries like El Salvador that was the first to adopt Bitcoin. And I also think it's going to drive a lot of entrepreneurship and innovation and competitiveness here in America where we have a ton of mining and we have companies that are being built to to support infrastructure and to support um, things like the Lightning Network, which allow people to transact really quickly and have the transactions settle more quickly on a secondary layer, essentially, of Bitcoin. So I think there's just going to be a lot more adoption, a lot more opportunity to spend your Bitcoin in different places, earn income in the form of Bitcoin, uh, purchase a house maybe while using Bitcoin as collateral for, for your loan. I just see a lot of growth in the space in the future. And I just think that it starts with just like that, that accumulation, dollar cost averaging, just purchasing a little so that you can start to save and watch it grow in the future. Mm -hmm. And I just really encourage people to really take, I mean, really take inventory. Like, where am I putting my money? And is it serving me? And am I worried about it? And how much, how has it performed in comparison to Bitcoin? You know, maybe do a little (laughs) chart comparison. Um, Because I I would love to live in a world where literally like you have your job, you're passionate about your podcast, right? You make your money Mm -hmm. and then you put it somewhere where it goes up in value and you don't need to sit there and become like an options trader or a day trader or a portfolio (laughs) manager. You don't have to worry about it. Like Like, you've trust that it will still be there and it will keep growing. Yeah. 